So here she is. This is gonna be Homeward Bound Van 2. And it just so happens that it was number two at the Atlanta airport. So it is kind of apropos. It has um, two seats up front, just a regular Sprinter van. And then um, it's got this kind of neat little signboard over the top of it as well. So you can uh, put messaging up there and uh, we'll, we'll do that and show you how it all works. Um, the engine, it's a diesel. Um, it uh, works really well. Uh, we had some work done on it initially, but uh, that's uh, handled and uh, it's now running like a top. So that's good. Um, under here, there's a air conditioner. So this is the um, condenser for the rear air conditioner. And uh, we're going to keep that air conditioner in because it's quite a big van and it'll allow us to uh, have passengers riding along in the back if we choose and they'll be com comfortable as well. But that means that I can't put the shower there. That's usually where I put the shower. That's where I put the shower in the last one. So we're going to have a bit of a different layout this time. So uh, it's a dually as well and um, it's got uh, T-top windows. So not only do these windows or a couple of these windows flip out like awning windows for emergency uh, egress, but it, also there are sliders across the top. So it makes it uh, easier to have ventilation. So that's this side of the bus. It looks really, really nice. It's a nice looking bus for sure. So anyway, um, let me take you inside and I'll show you what we're doing on the inside. The other thing it's got is really wide double doors. So those doors are about, I think it's 40 inches wide. So that's a, a really nice uh, idea for the ability to, uh, you know, sit and look outside. So what we're going to do is right there where that luggage rack is, we're going to put in a U-shaped seating, which will also convert to an additional double bed. So where we'll sit generally is right there. And that works out really well when you're on the coast of California on um, the Pacific Coast Highway and you pull up alongside the, the ocean and you open these doors and you're looking at the view. So it'll be a, a really nice uh, option for us. The longer plan allows us to do that. So let's go inside and take a look. All right, so we're inside now. I've got uh, window shades on because it's quite hot out. But you'll see that uh, the uh, the cockpit is uh, double double chairs, so you've got the drivers and the passenger. Um, it's just a regular Sprinter van, so uh, it's got all the accoutrements of the Sprinter. Um, it also has this little uh, sign thing for outside, so that's uh, above the windshield. Uh, we can have some fun with some messaging above the uh, the uh, the windshield on that. Um, this compartment here over the top of the uh, driver's cab is, um, uh, gives us a fair bit of space. So we'll use that for storage. And then there's two side compartments here as well, which we'll use for storage as well. One there and one over here. Going back across the bus then, right to the back of the bus, I'll step, oh, actually I should show you one more thing. What's really nice is the, there's a step up of about six inches or so there, but then this is full height so that, what that means is when you're getting out of the driver's seat and coming to the back, you don't bump your head like I used to in the last bus. So this is wide open space, which is really, really nice. Okay, so let's take a look coming back. Come inside, there's this big luggage rack here, which uh, we're gonna take out of there. And what's gonna happen right here is I'm gonna have bench seating and each of these benches will be uh, drawers. So I'll have three drawers here for storage, but those drawers will also have slat uh, configuration on top of them. So you can pull the drawer out, pull the slat out, and then this becomes a double bed as well. Now what it'll also do is it'll convert into U-shaped seating. So while it'll be a bench while we're traveling, if you want to sit and watch the surfers in the ocean, then you can pull out the drawer on the end, pull out the drawer on this end, pull out the slats, and configure it as U-shaped. So you can sit and have your feet up, which will be really nice. Then in this area here, we're going to have the kitchen. So a sink, um, faucet, um, you know, some counter space. And then coming to the back, I'll just turn you around. Here, we're going to have um, a raised bed. So this area back here will all be about the bottom of that window. So about 30 inches high, and it'll remain as a bed. So you don't have to make the bed each time you, um, you know, you pull over for the night. So that'll be kind of nice. Um, coming along this side then we'll have, um, uh, right there will be a 36 inch uh, countertop for um, 
uh, our cooktop and underneath it'll be the refrigerator. And then right here, just as you enter the door, there will be the shower. So the same shower we did in the last build, except in this case, um, it'll be on the opposite side of the bus. So that'll be there. We're gonna keep the air conditioner at the back. It's uh, really cold and it blows really cold air. Um, so if we've got passengers riding along with us, they'll be comfortable as well. Um, at the back behind those seats, all those seats are gonna come out and I'll put another um, hatch there so that you can access the garage space, which will be under the raised bed from the outside. I may put the uh, the bed platform itself on uh, gas struts as well, so you could pull it up from in here. We'll see how all that goes. But um, the floor is going to be um, the same vinyl tile that we used last time, which is this interlocking tile, very heavy, thick stuff that was really quite nice. Um, I've been debated about uh, should I insulate the floor or shouldn't I insulate the floor? Uh, honestly, the last time I did insulate the floor, and I don't know that it makes a heck of a lot of difference to be honest with you, you end up putting a three quarter or one inch uh, Dow SM down there, and it's you know somewhere between three and five, or three and five, which does virtually nothing um, to, to keep you warm uh, or keep you cool. So I think I'm gonna leave the floor as is. I'm just gonna put it over top of it um, and, and see how that goes. Uh, the ceiling is all going to be ripped out. This is vinyl, um, and it's going to all come out of here to be able to allow us to put in two Max Air fans, one here, one there, and then we will um, uh, finish it off in tongue and, groove, tongue and Groove Pine again, which we did in the last bus, and it turned out really nicely. Uh, we'll have um, recessed puck lighting uh, across here. Um, we don't have an awful lot of room above the windows to do upper cabinets, so we're probably going to do open shelving above the cabinets. And, uh, and see how that goes. Same on this side. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh yeah. So in this area right here, this area behind the driver's seat, there's a fair amount of space. I think it's about 12 inches of space there. So I'm gonna build a small cabinet that um, will have a bit of a countertop on the top here. And I'll have some switches on this side of it. And then I'll have some switches over there on the other side. And uh, this will give us some storage for lots of stuff. Um, you know, you could have hanging storage in there or you could have a little pantry, a slide out or something like that. So we're gonna take a look at doing that. But tomorrow is demo day. So tomorrow it begins. I'm gonna rip all this out and, uh, and see if we can get started. I'm hoping that I can get it done in about three months, but um, We'll see, it just depends how much uh, time I have available. Um, doing a lot of work, you know, kind of weekends and nights sort of thing. But um, yeah, it's gonna be a fun one. I'm looking forward to it. Join us for the journey. We will, um, we'll, we're gonna take a lot of video throughout this project. And uh, I'm hoping that um, I'll get to show you the entire process this time, as opposed to just taking some photographs here and there. So it should be fun. Come on along. Talk to you later.